Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi and this is basically the second part of a very long haul that has been collected over the last three or more months. This one is what I have purchased from Tom Ford over the last couple of months, as well as some Shu Uemura hair care products, which I have just fallen in love with recently. Also some really nice statement costume jewelry. I'll start with Tom Ford. I have picked up recently three eyeshadow quads. I have quickly become a collector of these eyeshadow quads. They are gorgeous. This first one here is in the shade Cognac Sable. It really is something special. You've got a beautiful champagne shade followed by a deeper, slightly shimmery chocolate shade. Not a whole lot of shimmer there. And then we've also got a really dark dark brown shade and then this coppery shade that has a whole lot of sparkle that'll transform looks from this palette in a very special way this would be beautiful all over the lid beautiful for those of you with blue eyes green eyes really gorgeous the next eyeshadow quad that I purchased is the silvered topaz quad it's a beautiful sort of grayish neutrally quad really nice for a smokier eye a dark shade just swatches so richly so beautifully it's a really dark brown with a very very slight tinge of maybe plum to it if you blended that out that would make a beautiful plummy smoky eye there is a cooler gray type shade with a bit of a sheen to it then a more sort of taupey shade with a bit more lavender to it, gorgeous. And then again, a very, very sparkly, glittery light shade, which you could just pat over the whole look to give it a really nice nighttime look. Very nice quad. I think that'd be beautiful for brown eyes in particular. Third eyeshadow palette that I picked up, this is Orchid Haze. And Orchid Haze is a fairly recent release from Tom Ford, at least here in Australia. And it's just a really nice everyday quad that I think most people would really enjoy. It's got a really nice shimmery champagne -y highlight shade. Then you've got two sort of mid tone we've got more of a shimmery champagne -y sort of rosy shade and then something a little bit more lavender lilac -y with a really nice sheen to it a beautiful dark deep matte shade to help round it out to line define all of that good stuff really really like the orchid haze eyeshadow palette beautiful luxury makeup if you're after a splurge in beauty tom ford will not disappoint it just won't disappoint uh, and in that tone I also picked up his bronzing powder a little bit of a challenge to get open but once it is open you've got a really nice full-size mirror and then a nice large looking amount of bronzer it's probably not as big as it looks but this is in the shade zero to terror and this is the more matte out of the two shades that are available it's not an extremely dark bronzer it's one that you can build up and it's one that won't look too orangey on you if you can see it on the inside of my wrist there it's one that's going to be really nice at creating a shadow without adding an orange streak to your face I think that many light to medium skin tone ladies would probably really quite enjoy the Terra bronzing powder from Tom Ford retails I think for about $120 though so not for the faint-hearted be ready for a bit of sticker shock with Tom Ford I have also picked up a new lip color shine this one is in the shade bear I have worn this for a few days this week it doesn't look like much on the swatch you can see it's a shimmery type nude shade I adore it it is absolutely beautiful I would recommend checking that out it just has slightly enough sparkle just to look really gorgeous on the lips I can't tell you how many hours I have spent umming and ahhing over Tom Ford's lip stick range. They're $65 each, so it's not a decision to be made lightly. I have just had such a hard time choosing which color. They are all so beautiful, and when I get them home, I love every single one of them on my lips, even though I don't understand how I could love every shade in the range, but I really do. It's a beautiful formulation. It just feels so luxurious using it, and I love these lip colors. They are gorgeous. These are the four shades that I got. The first shade at the top is in the shade shade 13 blush nude a really nice neutral cool toned pink I would say 
Second shade down there, a slightly deeper, rosier pink. This one is in the shade Pink Dusk. Really, really pretty. I love all four of these shades. Next one down is Sable Smoke, a favorite of Tom Ford's lip color line for many, many people. It's a really beautiful, slightly browner pink, I guess you would say, a nice neutral for everyday use. And then the fourth color down, that deepest shade, is in the shade Coco Radish. And then the last product that I picked up from Tom Ford is because of Sunny Miss May 27 here on YouTube. She listed this one in her favorites, and I couldn't resist. We have such similar taste in makeup. This is the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. I'm getting on in my age and I'm getting more and more and more and more interested in illuminating, dewier, more youthful looking foundations rather than the heavy coverage matte foundations that I typically have favoured through my whole teens, 20s, first half of my 30s. So finally, I'm really enjoying products like strobe cream, like illuminating primer, like, you know, all kinds of under makeup bases that help give a youthful lip from within glow. So cannot wait to try this. If Sani loves it, I'm sure that I'm going to really enjoy it. Next, I have some hair care products from Shu Uemura. Of course, everyone's familiar with Shu Uemura for the makeup line that is very well known globally from Japan. But hair care is something that is relatively new to the brand I guess and they just do it so well. I've enjoyed every single shampoo conditioner that I have used from the Shu Uemura range and I really really like their beautiful oil. It's really lovely, the Essence Absolute. They have recently released a partner for their cleansing oil shampoo which is a really nice sort of clarifying shampoo that doesn't do a whole lot for the hair other than straight cleaning. You know how oil gets out oil? I love oils for cleaning my face, cleansing off all of my makeup and so I think under that same premise I've really enjoyed the cleansing oil shampoo and they have just released to the Australian market the cleansing oil conditioner to go with it so for just a little bit of nourishment it's not a heavy conditioner it says that it's a radiance softening perfector giving an airy touch and it contains bergamot essential oil these products smell beautiful these ones were sent to me to try and I have tried them a couple of times love them really nice nice light products that won't weigh your hair down. You can use the oil shampoo like as your first rinse if you like and then use a regular shampoo and conditioner afterwards but very very effective at cleaning your hair just getting everything out without leaving it stripped. So really pleased. I've got very, very fine hair that um, gets weighed down very, very easily. And uh, it's definitely not weighed down from using those two products together. So don't be scared off by the sound of oil. It just does a great job at cleaning. Then I picked up another styling product of theirs. I've got their Tarzai Cream, which is a really light styling cream. This is something that they used on my hair in the hairdressers recently at Morris Mead here in Perth. This is their Extreme Urushi, is how I'm going to guess I pronounce it timeless fixing and lacquering sap it is definitely a sap type product you pop a little bit on your hands rub your hands together to warm it smooth it through sort of the bottom half of towel dried hair and it's just a really light way to add you know styling and hold a bit of texture to your hair before you blow dry it and style with a you know a straightening or a curling wand I loved what he did to my hair in the hairdressers I thought I would give this a try and see what I can do with that at home I bought this one from Morris Mead as well. Morris Mead is the only counter, only place in Western Australia where you can find Shu Uemura. They have exclusive distributorship here in Perth. This is their Volume Maker Invisible Texturizing Powder. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, I've talked about volumizing powders, everything from uh, Osis Dust It product to a lot of Schwarzkopf brands have the texturizing volumizing powders. I've used the Tony and Guy, the David Babai. They're all really nice and very similar. What makes this one different is the application and it's got a retractable brush with the powder in the tube. So you just basically click it into your part and you use the brush to brush it in. Really nice and light. You could definitely take this with you. Really travel friendly and then to close it up you just re pull up the 
um, plastic holder and pop the lid back on. So really nice for on the go touch ups. If your scalp's just looking a little bit oily throughout the day, you can just have that in your handbag ready to go. Really enjoying that product. And then I was also sent a couple of other products to try. The Kerastas Micro Voil Protector. Basically, this is an SPF protector for your hair. I've never tried this, but I'm about to go on holiday. I'll be spending a lot of time in the sun, of course, with SPF on my skin and lips. And now, something for my hair. Cannot wait to give that a try. Also, a styling product from Kerastas. I think this is fairly new. This is the K Luck. Couture Micro Mist Fixing Lacquer, medium hold, a really nice travel size. I love travel size products because I travel a lot and love them. And then lastly, I also have some jewelry that I wanted to share with you. I picked up some really lovely chunky pieces. I purchased this one from Equip, retails for $19.99. I probably paid half price or got bought one, got one free. This is just a really nice sort of chunky everyday pewter type shade would look really nice under like a white shirt over a white t-shirt that kind of thing i also picked up these earrings from equip retail for 12.99 i thought these were beautiful they are so glistening and shiny and skin colored so perfect for summer glowy tanned skin really liked those this one is from equip it's a double gold chain i love the gold jewelry this one retails for 24.99 very very heavy looks nice i really like the gold the nice thick chains still they've been the trend for a while now they're probably on their way out but i still really like them i also picked up some jewelry from maya and this was the scenario where prices had already been reduced by like 50 percent and then it was another sale which was 25 percent off the already reduced price something like that i've been looking at this one for a while from maya from design studio a beautiful ornamental decorative necklace with a bit of blue and gold. I thought beautiful again for summer. I was also after some more pearls. The pearls that I have are showing a bit of wear and tear and I thought that this was a beautiful twist on pearls. Normally $34.95. I think I picked this one up for something like $10 or $15. Just a really nice set of pearls with a strand of, you know, silver stone and a little gold chain. It's call me old fashioned, but I love pearls. I think they just add a really nice finish to an outfit and a particular look. Also picked up a really simple set of pearls. I think I probably picked this one up for less than $10, regularly $25. A nice set of pearls with a really nice little sort of set of gems in the center. Nice and simple, something a little bit different. And also this set of pearls here. Again, something just a little bit different. This one will sit off center, regularly $39.99. I think I got this one for $10 or $15. Just got that one strand of pearls. They go a bit sort of crazy and funky there. And then you've got, you know, some lovely sort of pieces in the middle for a bit of interest. I also picked up a couple of necklaces that I've been in love with from La Visa. I think I paid full price for these. $39.99. This one is a set of black beads with gold chaining throughout. Really beautiful statement piece. I love it. I wore this with a black top and just got actually quite a few compliments on it. Shimmery, shiny, lovely for a nighttime look or dressing up a daytime look. And then I got the same thing in silvery, grey, glass beads again and really, really pretty, really, really shiny. I just love those pieces from La Visa. Lastly, I picked up a few pieces, two pieces from Forever New. This is a really nice chunky watch. I think this one was on sale maybe $19.95. I often wear black pieces, black rings, black earrings, black necklaces, and like to have a black watch. Finally, I purchased this necklace from Forever New again, regular retail, $24.99. Really nice gold chaining, and then you've got that beautiful gray gem shininess in the center i'm not good at describing jewelry am i but cannot wait to wear that it's just a beautiful clean sort of art deco looking design on that necklace so you'll be seeing those in upcoming videos thank you for sticking with me i hope that you enjoyed this tom ford shu uamura kerastas and statement jewelry haul i'll post a link to the other part of this haul that included products from chanel dior galan kevin Aucoin, some high-end beauty brands that i have collected over the last few months or more. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget how beautiful you are and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.